Hello there, welcome to my bench again. In this tutorial, I'm going to tie you up a streamer pattern. It's a bucktail streamer, and you're, you're all familiar with the Royal Coachman. So, and this is a, a variation. It's the Royal Coachman bucktail streamer. So I figured I'd give this one a tie for you this time. So I'll get him out of the vise, a fresh hook in, and we'll get going here. And for the hook, I'm using a musthead seven. Uh, 78950 standard streamer hook and I'm tying him on a size 8 here so we'll get him locked in the vise just like so and I'm using 70 to near UTC black for the thread now we're going to start our thread put a couple hook eye lengths behind the eye here and we're just going to wrap back towards our barb. You don't have to worry so much about touching wraps here for this guy. Let's get a good thread base down. And I'm going to snip off that tag there. And we're going to come back to about right there, right in front of our barb there. So, for the tail, like the Royal Coachman calls for, is golden feather and tippet. So I'm going to cut off a section here probably 10 to 12 fibers or so that's what you want for the tail so I'm going to snip those out and about a hook cap is the length I usually go by so you just want to measure it up like so switch hands tie it on top with a pinch loop pull straight up there you go and I want to wrap forward and bind all this excess down. We're going to bring our thread back up to where we start our thread just about here and stop right there. Now for the rib on this fly it's some small copper wire. So I'm going to tie this in right on top here. And we're going to wrap back all the way to in front of our tail. Some good snug wraps here. Just like so. And move ahead to just about the hook point and we'll stop our thread there. Okay. And for the first section of the body is peacock curl. I got three strands ready for our first section. Pick three strands here and I'm gonna snip off these brittle tips. We don't want them. And I'm gonna tie those in here. Catch those right there. Wrap back towards your tail. Before we go all the way back, I'm going to form a loop. Because I always make a peacock rope when I'm using hurl. Makes everything more, much more durable. So we'll lock that loop in. And we'll wrap back. And then we'll come forward to where we want to tie that off. So we'll grab our hurl and our thread. And a set of hacker pliers. Grab onto the end. I'm going to twist that rope up here, like so, and we're going to wrap that, just watch your hook point there, just wrap forward, just like so, until you get it out to where you want to tie off, probably one more wrap, maybe two, just twist that rope up a little more, and we'll go one more wrap, that's fine, bring my thread back, and we're going to tie that guy off, Wrap behind, one in front, wrap behind, one in front, then we'll wrap back to lock them in. And we'll come in and snip off the excess hurl, just like so. Okay, that's fine. Now we're going to wrap up to about three quarter point on the hook shank, three quarters of the way up. Now, the midsection of the body is small red wool yarn. You can use floss as well if you like. Or even just red thread would work as well. So I'm going to take that yarn. And we're going to tie it right on top here. Slide that in to catch it in. Wrap right back to right in front of our peacock hurl. Just like so. And then wrap right forward. Right to where we want to tie that off. Okay, so we're going to begin to wrap our yarn. Just like so here. 
Yeah, just try to get a nice smooth body, as smooth as possible. Just have a look at it there and see how it's going. Looks good. And we'll keep wrapping forward. Till we get to where we want to tie off. One more wrap. That's fine. Coming underneath. A couple wraps. Then we're going to wrap that forward. Just like so. I'm going to come in, snip off nice and close. Okay. Now, our next step, I'm just going to trim a few of these fibers from the yarn here that tend to once you wrap it, you always get a few fibers that stick out. Just going to trim a few of those off. Unruly ones here. There we go. Okay, so let's grab three more sections of peacock curl here for the top section of the body. Same deal, they'll snip off the brittle ends. I'm going to tie those in here. I'm going to wrap back. And we're going to form a loop once again. Come back. A couple wraps around the base. Lock it in. And wrap back forward to where you want to tie off. Grab your thread and hurl once again. My hackle pliers. Same deal once again. Just going to turn that up. And we're going to wrap that for our body. For our front section of the body. And a few a couple more turns here. I'm just gonna wrap that a little tighter. Okay, that's fine right there. And I'll back my thread off a little bit. I'm gonna tie him off. A couple wraps underneath here. Nice snug wraps and wrap back to lock them down. Nice and tight. We'll come in, snip off the excess. And there we have it. And I'm going to throw in a half inch at this point. See where it work. And also, for wrapping the uh, rib, I'm going to use my rotary. So I'm going to bring the uh, bobbin cradle over, rest my bobbin on there. And we want to take this wire and just wrap it up. Evenly spaced turns. Just like so, do you get to where you want to tie it off? Right there is good. Swing that back out of the way. Okay. And we just want to tie off our wire. A couple wraps behind. A couple in front. Then I like to go back on that. And then I'm going to helicopter them off. Just like so. And there we have it. Just wrap that down good. Now, for a hackle collar, I have soft Coachman Brown hen hackle. I have one prepared here. The tip, because the tip ready, I stripped down the lower fibers. So we're going to attach him right by the tip here. A couple wraps and fold it back. Wrap back onto it a little bit there. Then you can either snip or reach in and give that little hackle tip a pull, just like so. And I'm going to make one wrap behind that hackle. Then move my thread forward and stop there. Okay, our next step is to wrap our hackle. So, grab my pliers here. And we'll begin to wrap that guy. Stroke the fibers back as we go here. Just like so. You know, you get two to three wraps is all you need on them. Okay, then we're going to tie that off. And a couple wraps, and then we'll release my pliers. I'm going to stroke everything back here. Just give it a little pinch. And just like so. Now, I'm going to find that little hackle stem. Come in and snip him off. There we go. Now, you want these hackle fibers mainly to be on the bottom, so just pull back and down at the same time. 
and then just right back a ways to where you want to tie in your wing here just like so and that gives your most of your hackles are all on the bottom that way that's what you're after okay actually I'm gonna come back a couple more wraps on that there we go that's fine okay next is our wing and we want white bucktail we want a sparse wing on them I got a sparse wing on my bucktail streamers so give that a little tap here put it in the stacker okay got that ready okie dokie there we go get the stray hairs out of there get them lined up and you want that to come back to even with the tail or hair past is okay so I'm gonna measure that up come up with a pinch loop down over the bucktail with one turn and come up between my fingers pull straight up pinch and then we're gonna wrap back holding that bucktail up with your fingers just like so here there we go and that keeps it right on top of the hook for you that way so next we're going to come in snip off the excess here close as possible just come in and get it as close as you can to the behind the eye there there we go Okay, I've got a few more fibers there I want to try to trim out. Okay, I'm going to move my thread, sneak it in behind the eye here. Okay, now before I wrap that down, I'm going to put a little drop of hit cement on the butt ends here, just for added durability. Just a little drop. There we go. Okay, now we'll begin to form our head of the fly here. Just want a nice neat little head on them. Just like so. That looks pretty good right there. Just have a look around your fly and check it. Looks good to me. So we'll start to form the head here. And that looks good. We're ready for a whip finish. And that's another roll coach from Bucktail Streamer. Okay, got my whip finisher here. Smooth out that thread a little here. And we'll make a fortified turn whip finish. And there we have it. Snug that down good. Come in, we'll snip off the excess. Just like so. Okay. Now next I'm gonna take a little bit of solar as bone dry, put on my head there on the thread wraps. I like to use this instead of a uh, hit cement usually, especially on my streamers and wet flies. Okay, we're just going to go around here. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. That should be good right there. Good. Now I'll come in with my light here. Give it a quick zap. Just like so. Cure that up. And there we have it. There we go. That's just another version of the Royal Coachman, this time in a bucktail streamer form. And this fly is in also in the book that I have called the Best 1000. And 
I thought I'd give it a try for you. Now I'm going to try to get a close-up on him without uh, screwing the focus up too much. Guess that's still pretty good right there. So, once again, I want to thank you for watching. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that a lot if you haven't subscribed yet. And I want to uh, thank all my subscribers for watching my tutorials. I appreciate that a lot as well. So I hope you can uh, tie this guy up and give him a whirl. So until next time, happy tying everyone. And we'll see you again soon. So long for now, folks.